There she is. Oh, she brought some of her co-workers. Hang on to this girl, Ted. Hang on to her and never let go. Ted, these are some of the hottest girls I've ever seen. And they all work with Tiffany? Yep. There can only be one explanation for this. Ted, is Tiffany a pharmaceutical sales rep? Yeah, how did you know that? And you never thought to mention that? <laughs> what? It's just a job. <laughs> just a j just a job. <laughs> Ted, throughout time, there has always been one cutting-edge profession to which hot girls like Tiffany have flocked. Shall I walk you through the history? I'm going to explicitly say it no. It all started 2.5 million years ago. Man was a hunter. So the hottest profession of the day? Gatherer. Homo erectus, indeed. <laughs> As man mastered technology, the hottest profession of the day evolved. I'm pretty sure it's a hernia. Can you check again? <laughs> And then man took to the skies. And so hot women put on high heels and became stewardesses. Whew. I am in the upright and locked position. <laughs> and then man said, life is hard. I should start taking lots of prescription drugs. And so hot girls rolled into doctor's offices, looking sexy enough to render the very erection pills they peddled ironically redundant. So now, pharma girls are today's hottest profession. Hey, big brown eyes. How you doing? I'm good. Hey, by the way, you, uh, you ditched that loser boyfriend yet? No, sir. Touch my nose. Dude, ditch Tiffany and join the barnacle in a pharma girl free-for-all. Side effects may include loss of clothing, rug burn, shortness of breath, and sore abdominals the next morning. What in the world is up? <laughs> Ain't no party like a pharma girl party because a pharma girl party don't stop. Dude, I've already hooked up with three of them. Phantasmo. Plus, my cholesterol is down. My restless leg syndrome is cured. I've never felt more alive. Ooh. Last night I was with this pharma girl who was so hot you should call a doctor if you don't have an erection for more than four hours. Am I right, people? Yeah, there's no people, just the girl you most recently dated. Hey, Barney. I want you to meet the newest pharma girl. Oh. Gladys Reynolds, nice to make your acquaintance. I represent statins and other cholesterol-lowering drugs. Come on, girl, let's go get our drink on. Okay. <laughs> It's over. What's over? Pharma girls are no longer exclusively hot chicks. It's the end of an era. You're being a little dramatic. Am I? It starts out with a Gladys. Next thing you know, a few not-so-fabulous gay guys enter the ranks. And before you know it, pharma girls look like the crew on a Southwest flight from Albuquerque to Little Rock. <laughs> it's over! <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Still in mourning over the end of the Pharma Girl era? <laughs> no. I realized that their reign had to end to make room for some new hot girl profession. Maybe it'll be intergalactic communications officer on a rocket ship to some distant solar system we can't possibly imagine. Maybe it'll be meter maids. We just don't know. But one thing is sure. The future glows like a giant sun shooting amber rays of light into our hearts and minds. Wow. Uh, what changed your mind? The realization that hope springs eternal, Robin. That and this little bottle of purple pills I found in my couch cushion. I don't know what they are, but they are amazing. <laughs> 